Let's go now to the nearby state of Nevada, where the economy is a top concern for voters headed to the polls today. Uh, and that could be complicated news for Democrats. Manuel Bohorkas is in Las Vegas for us. Manny, good morning. Good morning, Tony. A few things make Nevada unique. One, as the iconic Vegas Strip illustrates, is how largely tied to tourism the state's economy is. And that took a big hit during the pandemic shutdowns. But also, the current rate of inflation here and gas prices are both higher than the national average. Republicans are trying to capitalize on that with the Trump-backed Senate candidate Adam Laxalt tying those pocketbook concerns to President Biden and the incumbent Democrat Catherine Cortez Masto. Laxalt is especially focused on winning, uh, winning Latina voters who are expected to make up 20% of the vote this cycle. The state's most powerful union, however, the culinary workers, they've thrown their support behind Cortez Masto. And the members of that union have knocked on one million doors in Las Vegas and Reno to try to get out the vote. Cortez Masto was joined by Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg last night. A final push to retain what some have called the most vulnerable Democratic seat in the Senate. More than 600,000 early votes have been cast, according to state officials, with Republicans casting slightly more votes than Democrats. But 17 percent of those votes come from people with no party affiliation, and that could make the difference here. Tony? Yeah, it's an important note there, Manny. We should remember that uh, most of this country is not, Im uh, is not Democrats or Republicans, but in fact, folks there in the middle. Thank you. And as I send it back to you guys in New York, I want to underscore something that Chris said. This is election day. We'll be going into election night, but we may not have calls for every state by the time most people go to bed today. That's good information to know, Tony. We'll check back in with you a little bit later.